Hun, um, I'm Edna Matsuoka. Will now be beginning our uh, memorial service for Reverend Haruko Takahashi, our 48th memorial service, along with our regular monthly memorial service. Please join us in prayer. Mediation Prayer, page 2 of your prayer book. Let us see the sacred mediation of the young and old and sincerely and heartily each and every day. In the redeemed of the nation of all our hearts and our souls, on this day and every moment, the young and old and sincerely and heartily each and every day. I pray for those who are 
Receive the salvation for all those who have suffered, <coughs> and you know how to die in the day. Though the years pass and the world will change, he did not wait for the past task, that the divine task will be the mediation. Thus was the day with the sacred Tetsuya Kakitsuke, the guiding principle of the Lord's daily life. The divine began with us thus renewed, and thus is filled universally. It stands away from the prosperity, the way of the Closing mediation message for the 48th year memorial service for the late Reverend Taro Takahashi. In the sacred printed in the Hong Kong Library and our divine faith in Chinese economy, for me of the Hong Kong Mission White Hill, I ask you young. We are just for a prayer. We are here today on December 10th, 2020, in observance of the 48th annual memorial service for the Prime Minister of the Church, Iwahiro, the late Reverend Haruko Takahashi, as well as the monthly memorial service for the believers and the friends who have ever been guided to this faith community and departed in the month of December. In memory and respect to our Amida Master of the late Reverend Haruko Takahashi, we sincerely ask that the standing of the voices in the Damascus of the Reverend Haruko Takahashi will be addressed, able to a higher duty, and be able to enjoy the work as a voices in the Damascus of the Reverend Haruko the Wahiyama Church, and the Hong Kong Faith Community in Hawaii, and Takahashi family, with the people and the community at large, through this service and through the continued operation of this church. Please accept many offerings made before you. Our sincere thoughts and prayers forwarded to you. Thank you. Again, Hong Kong, and thank you, Kaido Kamiya. We are sending the Reverend Haruko Takahashi as the divine being of the local church in Wahio through our dedicated service in the 30 years of life stand for this community. <coughs> Many people have been guided, helped, and saved yes, through this physical existence of the church and continued operation of the church. We have been able to enjoy the blessed life as Congo believers. We acknowledge that this local 
Francis Yoshima Wibblin, the organization of the Kong Joseph Shirai, to which a divine film universe rendered the founder J. Kong for the song mission of helping enslaved people through the line of first mediation and confirmation followed composer Shaman. A church congregation owes a great deal for this great prime minister for the establishment and continuation of this church. We extend our deep appreciation and heart to gratitude <coughs> for enabling us to publish the operation of this church in the last eight years. By experiencing the eight years of inevitable temporal closure of the church since the real country of us, I think we the gospel and the World Time Relocation Camp at Sun Island on December 14, 1941, and Honolulu due to the weight of the Second World War on December 7, 1941, and the social turmoil for their Yes, through the divine guidance and arrangements and us that support and help all the people who have ever established on this British church and help all the people to our spirit. The call for which Wahiwa has come thus far. But it sincerely ask a divine to gain call for writing in each of the Nama spirit to continue to help and guide us. In pursuit of the peace, the actualization of the people's salvation through a practice of peace and the public expression of Hong Kong Christian in our day. Again, Hong Kong lies within the title of Christian. Please help each one of us to foster our efforts in actualization of the main engine of the missionary work of the left hand of the to my help pray and guide us. To live the face a true Hong Kong believer. Thus, give the Hong Kong face and energy of blessings being exemplified by the Hong Kong Takahashi and all the Hong Kong believers who have tried to emulate the founder of the Hong Kong Rising. We especially extend a prayer that the family members and relatives, all other people who have ever been connected to this church. And the great Reverend Hunter Hash would get engaged in the practice of the peace to respond to the earnest endeavor of the late Reverend Hunter Hash, and the Hashi, who has established absolute unity by no kind for the wider universe through our lifelong dedication to our missionary work. I'll keep me the Hong Kong Mission Washiwa. I feel humble to be of service to succeeding our divine administrator for the operation of the church, the support of my wife, Rita Yanu, and the whole family members, the church congregation, and the other people. We have been grateful for the ADS anniversary celebration of our church held on March 15, 2020. Again, Kong Kuo Lai, Ten Chikaino Kanta, please use us as your agents, like the real Kanta Kash, in helping people through our engagement in the progress of this. We approve all the blessings we have enjoyed through the virtuous presence of this church, being actualized through the line of the mediation, especially. For the parent church, Hong Kong Mission Hall, and other local church in Hawaii. In Hong Kong Church prayer, we pray that the first three service is going to one and all.
behind to 100.
Nitama Prayer, page 12. Nitama Prayer, Spirit of those who have gone before us. We are given the of life and in this last and in this universe. Wenn Sash Prayer von der Hohen ist, der nur so ist, der Weg für den Halb und der Haas. Wenn er sagt, wir können es um den Halb und der Haas, den GPS Rivers, in der Region, in der Rivers, in der Hohen ist, der nur so ist, der Renew Wind. For the appreciation, at least in the initial, this local church in Washiwa educate the foundations of the local Kongo Gothic community in Washiwa. With their Kongo Gothic community in Hawaii and Takahashi families, everything. On behalf of the Kongo Gothic in Washiwa, I am Dr. Yano, the owner of the Conduct Day Service and get on Reverend Sears for his day. We have always tried to chant our Kogoshe prayers. The appreciation for the work and contributions you have made through your dedicated service at the local church in Washiwa for 32 years. Through our daily prayers, monthly general services, and annual general services, ever since he passed away on December 24, 1972. When I face toward the tower altar in my daily prayers, I always feel the special prayers and affirm that by the Lord, the services you have provided to us all those years, as we have commemorated 80th anniversary celebration of the church in Washiwa, through my prayers, I also express my appreciation for the line of Turkey mediation. Hong Kong Mission Honolulu, and Hong Kong Church Amami, Hong Kong Church Tokara, and all the way up to Hong Kong to Hira, on the Hira, where Father Hong Kong Life initiated this religious faith corresponding to the divine home in 1853. I have regarded this church as what you have established, but as an actualization of the divine mission 
为牛食的放逐，最痛苦的。Do your prayers, dedication, regulation, activity, and statement in one. And also the one who has brought you in this respect and have experienced special fulfillment for the mission of work I have you started for 42 years after succeeding you in 1977. In my wife's very home, and he or our children in a church congregation. When Taiwan Street on the lake, they will have the cross. You see a mask with 48 years since he departed on December 24, 1972. That swift passing time, just a minute for me. We have gathered here to remember you and extend our sincere thanks for your dedication. In fulfillment of your mission, love, giving, caring, protection, and comfort you have provided as far as you are alive. And even after you tackle into internal street, all those things, a wonderful gift, a divine mission, when you see the founder, Jen Kong Korai, has been assigned to your presence and dedication at this global church. Our great and our local church in Taiwan. We accept our sincere thoughts and prayers, appreciation of your indispensable contribution to our divine presentation in Taiwan country, and the believer through the work of divine revelation you have provided. Here in Taiwan Street, on the lake where Hakata Pass, you are born. On April 10, 1910, I'm the eldest daughter of Mr. Zenji and Mrs. Kiki Takahashi of Kohara on the Fifth Island, who live under the care of your parents, their family members, and Genji Taino family until you enter into the future home on December 24, 1972, at the age of 63. The show was a divine guide. You are introduced to the Hong Kong Mission Hong Kong to Mrs. Tsunoki in 1928. Through the nurturing spiritual guidance petitions provided by the late Reverend Masayuki and Kiki Kodan of the Hong Kong Mission Hong Kong, you have gained the trust of Reverend Masayuki and Kiki Kodan of the Hong Kong Church and have enjoyed many blessings in your life. That the healing of your physical ailments to initiate you to this church and have responded to their divine call to carry people in Odin. I called the minister and opened a church on 901 Kunami Avenue in Washington on January 14, 1904. You have helped many people in this community through your daily work during your 32 years of mission. During your mission work, you have encountered inevitable consequences of World War II. Once you are detained at the internment camp at Sun Island on December 14, 1941, and Honolulu in Hawaii, under the hostile situation of the West Border, when the war broke out between Japan and the United States on December 7, 1941 along with many Japanese community leaders. You are one of a few female in heaven, kept in custody. I can hardly imagine what thoughts you might have developed under the unacceptable consequences you had to deal with as an American citizen. You are released from the internment camp at Honolulu on July 7, 1944. Even while you are detained at the camps, you help with the food through your endeavor, perseverance, through prayers, and determination to support and guide us regularly by the Reverend Masayuki and Kiki Kura of Hong Kong Mission Hong Kong, and support and prayers your family members and the church congregation. Not to mention the divine guidance you have been 
being able to resume the original work on a fresh transportation at two the seven million ever to Washington in nineteen forty eight. This year we took whole eighty anniversary celebration lecture for March fifteenth, twenty thirteen. To acknowledge all the blessings we have enjoyed through the various ditches we established, we kept by the British from twenty time to time. We can all special work of our founder, Kate Pongfor, I think, and the work of the Red Hand of the Cross and the support of our church congregation. Our church congregation and members of Tata Hajj families and relatives all remember you. Extend our prayer to thanks the best lives we have been able to enjoy at Hong Kong of the Eagles. The righteous legacy of the Hong Kong of this tradition you have shared with us through your work of divine mediation and actualization in Hong Kong which have been kept active and continue to expand. Then we can speak of the late Red Heart of Cross and urge us to guide us and support of the further church functions in the community. Thus, help us rise to the initial endeavors of helping as many people in the local community through the process of Hong Kong Office. I ask your support of the Rogers and Government State to help realize this passion of the first community in Wakiwan and in the entire state of Hawaii to promote English oriented cooperation initiatives to create educational program for the church congregation to continue and expand the annual Ohana campaign and the other people to continue to the overall community in Wakiwan and the neighboring areas to contribute to the betterment of the community at large to the world peace through our engagement. The community activities in front of the early care operation contact in the UK. Every time I speak on the late Bernard Takash, thank you for all you have done for us. Takash, I will protect the Mikawa for all the time. And Murphy, you know, Sarah's side history. Every time I speak, the foreign minister of the late the Congress of the late. Reverend Hunter Kalash, and Reverend Mastaro, and Kinyasaki, and Hong Kong Church of Mali, Reverend Masariki, and Kinti Furman, Reverend Masariki, and Mishimu, and Hong Kong Bishop of Rome, the Reverend Neji, and Toshi Fontaka, and Hong Kong Church of Harvard, and in the Gamma State, the people who have enabled and guided and protected the Hong Kong Church of Wakiwa and Nepal in the month of December. ヒルダ、カズコ、アロトの三玉の三。ヒサモ、ヒサモ、ヒサモ、ヒサモ、ヒサモ、ヒサモ、ヒサモ、ヒサモ、ヒサモ、ヒサモ、ヒサモ、
and each other also we live and we feel the same thing three times a time. Whether we are living or dead. So you must remember that heaven and the rest is all we are for. As a photo line showed us that the rest of this relationship is life or death. Thus always remember that blessing of the divine can help in time, space and place. Upon the Koko line says the right that the Son of Krishna for us is a divine person. The way the form is a divine blessing for us. All humans allow us to live in the midst of divine blessings. Keep up on Amitra's blessings, live Amitra's blessings, enjoy Amitra's blessings. Here we come to speak, we reverently acknowledge that it is true that the voice of the Koko line came three times a time. As well, all of the Kama speak that enable us to live and enjoy this life. Through divine arrangements, you heart and body, the home comfort, the brilliance, the sincerity, the success, and teaching of the founder of Koko Line enable you to understand and appreciate the Ute Koko process through the work of divine mediation of Ute Koko Line. We offer our humble respect and sincere gratitude to the work of the one of the Dharma Spirit, the deepest appreciation we have given carefully. We remember you in appreciation of your work and contribution to our life for the past and present. Please accept the many of this before you. And this is your prayers and prayer. As tokens of our sincere thanks for your prayers in our lives. We extend our prayers, thanks for your spiritual work as we help guide for the, the comfort we have in our need. So extend our deep appreciation and happy gratitude for enabling us to make a pleasure and take a church in the last 80 years. This through your good gospel which we possess for you. We pray that through your virtue, and the time of the sun, on purpose, will be passed on for generation to generation. And the true blessings and our peace will be on by many. Thank you again. We love you. <coughs> Tamagushi offering by members of the congregation. Token sign, please. Page 36. Oh, 
Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming today to attend Reverend Haruko Takahashi Sensei's 48th memorial service. I'm really glad that there are people here present uh, to remember this wonderful sensei, Reverend Haruko Takahashi, who established this church in 1940s. 
Uh, like every year, I read Haruko Sensei's biography that she wrote uh, in the Gakuin Seminary. So I would like to read that aloud. By Reverend Haruko Takahashi, Kusaba no Tsudoi was a publication issued in commemoration of graduation from the Kongokyo Kokyusho Seminary in 1934 mm -hmm. by Reverend Haruko Takahashi. It says, I was born in Kohala, located in the island of Hawaii, the United States of America, on April 10, 1910. I had a visual disorder from childhood. The doctor explained that when I reached the age of 15 to 16, I had to undergo surgery to correct my eyesight. I suffered from nearsightedness and cross eyes. My eyes looked like the bulging eyes of a dead fish. When I tried to see things or read books, I had to bring my face very close to the items. When I enrolled in school, I related my visual disorder to my instructors and they provided special attention and care for my needs. When I extended my thoughts for the people who showed great concern and sympathy for me, I always felt depressed and complained. I felt overwhelmed with the thoughts of suicide every day till the age of 15 because of the situation. At the age of 16, I went to see an eye doctor. He told me that he could not operate on my eyes. If my eyes were operated on, my condition would worsen. He advised me that the cause of the, eye, cause of the defects should be identified first and find ways to correct them. Through an extensive examination, the doctor found out that I also had some abnormalities in my nose and my tonsils. A minor corrective surgery was done to the area and doctor gave me shots for a month, but there was little improvement at all. The only way I could cope with the situation was to hide my defects by putting on thick eyeglasses. At the age of 17, I took a sewing class. Since I could hardly advance my skills, I tried to extend my earnest prayers for my visual improvement through practicing faith in Oyakushi-sama single-heartedly. My parents, who are also concerned about me, joined me in extending prayers daily uh, to this deity. Also, I tried to avoid all fish and meat for about a year. I could only observe my own eating habits at my residence in privacy. When I was invited to a meal at the house of my sewing instructor, she noticed my strange eating habits of avoiding fish and meat and asked me why I was following such strange dietary restrictions. I revealed that it was for the purpose of healing of my visual disorder through faith in the Odaishi Sama and Oyakushi Sama. Then my sewing instructor advised me by saying, would you mind getting involved in the religion I practice? I asked her, what kind of religion is it? She told me, I believe in Konko Kyo, which worships both Tenchi Kari no Kami and Ikigami Konko Daiji. She also shared with me many blessed episodes of her involvement in the religious practice. That evening, she took me to the Konko Mission of Honolulu. I believe it was a deep divine arrangement for me. On that particular evening, the monthly service was in progress and the minister was delivering a sermon. While I was listening to him, I felt I understood that I had committed grave irreverences against Kami without my knowledge in the past. I felt overwhelmed with a feeling of apology for all the wrongs I had committed unknowingly. The following day, I attended church and listened to the minister. I was in shock in awe for the great divine work of earth, which I had not been aware of till that moment in my life. At that moment, I felt a ray of sunlight penetrating to my eyes. From that day on, my vision improved significantly. I was overwhelmed with a feeling of joy and happiness and grat gratitude for the apparent blessings and shed tears. In one week, my vision returned to normal. I was liberated from my visual disorder. I wrote this matter to my parents. They didn't believe me at first, but on one occasion, I had the opportunity to travel to a big island and return home. The moment they witnessed me, they were overwhelmed with happiness and shed tears of gratitude. I shared many blessed episodes of Konko Kyo with them. 
Then my family members all understood the grateful nature of the faith and have joined me in the practice of the faith together. Through such great blessings I have enjoyed, I became overwhelmed with the feeling of gratitude, and this prompted me to enroll myself to the Konko Kyo Kyushu Seminary in this manner. It was through deep divine arrangement. So every every year I read this, and every year I'm like, I'm overwhelmed with the feeling of wow, <laughs> and I get I get goosebumps for all these divine arrangements that had happened in her life. You know, had she not had that visual disorder, she wouldn't be in this really depressing situation where she almost wanted to commit suicide and she needed great help great spiritual help had she not take an interest in sewing like what if her 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 name she wanted to learn cooking instead <laughs> that encounter with kusunoki-san was a divine arrangement if she didn't encounter that sensei she wouldn't have encountered the honolulu church and this church wouldn't be here. And just all of these little things, big and small things that happened in her life led to this moment in time. So I, I it overwhelmed me every time. And, and I go back and say, I know how to say thank you so much for her faith and her dedication for this church. And so we have come here to remember her on her 48th memorial service. And I think it's a wonderful thing. And she must be really happy mm -hmm. that there are some people that are here to remember her. Her great, her um, amazingness, you know what I mean? So thank you so much for attending. Um, in reading her story, it makes you really wonder, like realize that the blessing of sight to be able to see every day. You wake up, you open your eyes, you can see. That is such a divine blessing yeah. that we take for granted. Yeah. You know, we usually open our eyes and we say, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, I have a work today. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't realize, hey, you can see today. That's amazing. But it's so atarimai. It's, it's such a blessing that happens every day that we're not even thankful for it. But can you imagine the happiness that Haruko Sensei felt when her eye, her vision returned to normal again? Oh, she was so mm. grateful. From the core of her heart, she was grateful. I mean, why else would she establish a church to spread the good news of blessings that everyone else can also receive, you know? Mm. It's amazing. And not only our eyes, our, our entire body function, every body part, has always been there for us, doing its best every single day. And just got to be grateful for that. Yeah. Mm. I met a blind woman once, and I just out of curiosity, I asked her, were you born blind or did it happen midway in your life? And she said, uh, when I was born, I could see, and my blindness happened when I was in childhood. I was like, oh, so what happened? She said, one day I just woke up blind. Mm. I was like, what? <laughs> like, was there any warning? She said, no. So the doctor didn't even know. She just one day woke up blind and the mother was freaking out. Mm. And, you know, she just couldn't see one day. And she said her optic nerve, both of them, uh, she suffered optic nerve decay. Mm. And it's an irreversible condition. <clears throat> no warning. And I said, did it hurt when you woke up and you couldn't see? Did it hurt? Anything hurt? No, no pain. But yeah. oh my, can you imagine <laughs> waking up and like not being able to see anything <laughs> when just yesterday you were able to see everything? <laughs> Can't imagine. So, hontori, our sight is so important. We are so blessed as human beings to be able to see beautiful colors, scenery, wonderful people. It's amazing. Our mm -hmm. eyes, arigato gozaimasu to our eyes. Even um, Shirakami Shinichiro Sensei of Osaka Church. He, I don't know if you, you've seen the Konko, Konko Daiji movie that we air every year in, in Kiku. 
he was blind. And through Konko Daishin's teachings, he developed this core gratitude in his heart. And from that, he was able to see again. And his happiness was so extreme that he spread Konko Kyo throughout the Osaka region. And my Gakuin classmate uh, was also a Shirakami. And we call him Rokuraime, oh. or Shirakami, sixth generation. <laughs> Amazing. That, that's how much the blessings have been passed down from generation to generation. Yeah. And they don't forget the path. Always remember the path of why the blessings we have are here today. Mm -hmm. And it's because of people like Karuko Sensei. Mm -hmm. It's because of like my parents. It's because of all the people we are surrounded with that we are able to enjoy the, the life that we have right now. Mm -hmm. so. Thank you for continuing to remember Haruko Sensei and let's continue to remember these people and all other people who have passed away in our lives who are there for us. Thank you so much. Have a good day. So today's sermon, uh, another sermon will be given by uh, today's David, David Yano Sensei's term. So we'll look forward to what he has to say. Let's open our hearts, our ears and our eyes and take in his message also. Thank you very much. Good morning. <clears throat> Thank you for coming to today's memorial uh, service for the late Reverend Haruko Takahashi. Uh, I should say I'm done already because Edna gave a really good uh, sermon. She always does uh, every single time. Uh, for myself, I, I really cannot say too much. The things that she says are pretty much what I want to say. I'm not as in-depth as um, how Edna was with Reverend Haruko Takahashi. Um, but basically, I want to. My sermon is uh, super short, typically. Um, I'm not. I probably don't have as deep of a faith as my sister Edna. Um, I've been away from the church for a while. Um, and then I'm just kind of starting to get back into it again. Um, I've always had faith in a sense. Um, especially when I'm at work, when I deal with people, when I deal with patients, when I deal with my co-workers. Um, I try to do my best and the faith has always been there for me. Um, but since today is Memorial Day, um, Edna said, I forgot what she said already. Um, I know what she said, but basically we wouldn't be here like, the Yano family wouldn't be here without Reverend Haruko Takahashi. My mom, I guess I was talking to my mom last night. Um, 
it's completely random. Um, so I have a lot of problems in my life. I have a lot of issues, I guess you could say. Um, and you know, I tried to stay away from church for a while uh, because of those problems that I've been having. And you know, I thought I did, I was doing okay. And in the end, I ended up coming back to Wakiwa, um, coming back to the church. And my mom said, you know, the Yano family would not be here without the Konko faith. I was I was talking to her last night about the problems I was having. Um, and if we stop practicing this faith, then the Yano family might cease to exist. I guess there's been um, things happening in Japan um, where, where we're kind of straying away from the faith. Um, but the thing that we have to remember the most is that we cannot forget the faith. We cannot forget why we are here today. I don't. I might be taking it for granted um, that that I have a life that I'm able to work, have a family with kids and everything. Um, but the root thing that we cannot forget is without without our ancestors practicing the Konkoku of faith, there wouldn't be any. Yano anybody. There mm -hmm. wouldn't be no Yano family at all. Um, and without Haruko Takahashi, it wouldn't, we wouldn't be here today. We're allowed to live in this church. We're allowed to practice faith in this church. It was, it was like it was meant to be, in a sense. This is not my house, although we live here. I, I keep thinking, you know, this is my house, this is where we grew up, but we're basically borrowing this place. We are, you know, we're utilizing this place to be able to spread the faith, to be able to spread Kongo, to be able to spread the Kongo faith uh, to everyone. We're continuing um, Haruko Takahashi's, I guess, legacy mm -hmm. um, by not letting this uh, church die down. I've seen there was a church down the street. Uh, you know, Jehovah's Witness. Um, I used to always run with the minister over there. Like he used to always say, oh, we will race, we will race. Let's race down the street. So we race from the church all the way to the stop sign. And, you know, I, I was, um, I think his name was Reverend Tomoyasu mm -hmm. or something like that. And you know, that, that church, um, that church disappeared, basically. Mm -hmm. It turned into someone's house, mm -hmm. you know. I guess I guess a family bought it because there was nobody to take over that that church. You know, I felt I know it's a different religion, but and you know I felt really sad in a sense when I when I saw that the church the church the parking lot where we used to always play as kids was gone. Mm -hmm. It's someone's it's someone's house, um, and it's basically private property. You know this I just don't want this church to fall into the same demise I guess as that church I don't think I think the Jehovah's Witness Church never had kids um, so it basically ended with that generation so maybe uh, we were meant to the Yama family was meant to be here continue on the faith, continue on this church for however long it lasts um, and to not let uh, Reverend Haruko Takahashi's uh, legacy die. Um, the thing I want to get to get across to everyone is we shouldn't forget our um, we shouldn't forget our roots mm -hmm. um, we shouldn't forget the practice of faith um, and if by practicing the faith, you've had plenty of blessings. I just think you just shouldn't forget that. Um, and you should offer your appreciation um, for everything that has helped you till today. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's pretty much all I have to say today. Thank you very much.
morning, thank you for joining the service. Uh, Mary, Edna and Dave have already said what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> so great to have this young minister. <laughs> Edna's uh, speech reminded me. <coughs> uh, yeah, okay, I remember the uh, episode of the Shirakami Shinichiro in the annual uh, uh, telecast in uh, Okage Awakuri uh, TV. He said when he regained. His visual power. He said, Mir, Mir, I can see him. The, I can sense the overwhelming sense of gratitude. You know, feel like shed tears every time I was this scene. The being able to see things, being able to speak, being able to move our head and hand and feet. Everything simply can't be normal, but those elements can be done only through kindness and blessing. So, like Shirakumi says, Mieru, Mieru, it's actually a miracle happened. A miracle is happening right now. Be able to see, and speak, and smell, and breathe. It's all elements of Blessedness, elements of miracle. So every day shall be a celebration. This is the true nature of Kongo Koto practice. Um, and so David, <coughs> only seven minutes of sleep, but interesting. Uh, when I was listening to his speech, I remember the message given by the fourth Kongo site. He said,新人さしていただいたものが学校先生であるなるほどねポリスマンさんオフィスワーカーなんあらさいほらどうぞプラクティスフェイスゲットインティーのワークオブアズネスアズポリスマンアズオフィスワーカー not other way down. Office worker, nurse, occasionally come to church and start to pray. There are two differences. Basically, a believer of Kongo Kyo get engaged in nursing, policeman, what other policeman, and office worker, shop worker, and so forth. If we keep this spirituality, we can keep a tradition in the family. If some uh, many uh, church member, oh, this perception of they we can expand the faith community. And this is the only way we can perpetuate the family tradition of Kyo and the faith community in Hawaii. It's the only way we can survive. So each believer has to build up. I am a Kongo believer and live a Kongo believer. It's a simple form. So this is the most powerful element in keeping the Kongo Kyo tradition in the family, in the family. And this is the only way we can expand the Kongo Kyo tradition in Hawaii. Yeah. I want to share my thoughts about Akai Sensei, 40 years anniversary. Uh, this year marks the eighth anniversary and <coughs> we held the anniversary of March 15. And today we are observing the 48th anniversary. The great Rohan Takahashi, the founder of this church, 
Uh, after your departure was December 24, 1972, on the eve of Christmas. Christmas is served by many, so many people in the world. And her departure on December 24 would be permanently remembered by many people in our Christmas in Hawaii. In my daily prayer, I have extended my prayer of blessing for the dedication provided to Haruko Takahashi ever since both my wife and I have provided services for here in the last 23 years. Sometimes I wonder how the real Takahashi would ever be able to restart her missionary work in Wahiro after dealing with unreasonable and coarse life at Italy Camp. Sun Island and Honolulu camp from December 14, 1941 to July 7, 1944. If she would be an ordinary woman, she might not have to uh, hold the end of all resuming, restarting her missionary work again. In a sense, the uh, Takai Sensei was an extraordinary woman minister who try to fulfill a call to Southenji Kaimoka. But it could be a tribute to the trust relationship between the Reverend Masayuki Kodama and Kikuri Kodama of Kongo Church, Kongo Mission Honolulu. It was actually when the Kikuri Sensei, Kodama Sensei, was serving the Kongo Church when Takai Sensei reached out our missionaries to open here. 1948. So if the North relationship between Takai Sensei and Konama Sensei, this church would not have established for the God. And trusting relationship between Kamisama and Ishawa can also be the most vital. We believe maybe we believe in Tenchi Kaino Kami. But only few can be trusted by Kami. If Kami is not trusted, each one of us are right to be fulfilled. We can be that simple, but it can be very difficult to do. Thank you very much. Okay. Page 44, number 36. Page 44. Oh, 44. 44. Oh, a number 30. Yeah, 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 yeah. 36? Okay. Rely. Rely, yeah. rely on one person. He will do all he can. He can to fulfill it. If you ask many, they will discuss how to fulfill your request, and things will are not go smoothly. When hiring a carpenters, there must be a chief carpenter. Plants also have only one central core. If you practice uh, faith with such a single heart, you will in immediately receive divine blessings. 37. Your lifetime in the training period of a faith is like the scholar who goes school goal and classes to pursue his studies. 38. People talk of purification, but instead of purifying your body, purify your heart and practice faith. 
39. The religious training of this faith does not involve traditional physical austerities. Doing your everyday work is religious training. Number 40. Carrying a heavy load on your shoulders or back may be burdensome, but practicing faith is not. It is easy. Practice faith while you do your daily work. 41. Just listening to teachings is not enough. You should develop faith within yourself. 42. If you wonder why you are having troubles despite your devout faith, your faith has stopped. Think that it is because you are lacking in faith and practice faith single-heartedly. Then you can receive divine blessings. Maybe you accidentally press this button. There we go. Good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. Tadaimaka uta wo uta wo asete itadakimasu. We're going to sing a song. Four song. Four.
you again for joining us in prayer. We hope you have a wonderful new week. Thank you. Take care.